Mateo has a question. How do I branch my band out to outside markets? How do I branch my band out to outside markets? So you are, okay, well, I think I got this. So yeah. here, here is my thought with that, and we can iterate on this idea. Um, luckily, on the East Coast, we have all of these towns, right? Um, so we're in Boston. We have Providence to the south. We have Portland to the north. Uh, Worcester to the west, yep. like that sort of thing. So I like the idea where it's possible of doing concentric circles, mm -hmm. right? So, all right, get, you know, nail your live show, and I'm just using Boston as an example. Play around Boston, um, and then kind of spread. You can spread down to New York City, you know? Maybe it's doing a show trade with another band that's really popular in New York, right? Mm -hmm. So open for that band in New York, and do the same thing back in Boston. Like, all right, guys, you want to you have something happen in Boston? We, we can draw here, right. you know, and we'll email our list about your band, you know, do this um, mm -hmm. reciprocal just kind keep, of thing. Just keep doing it. Yeah, I mean, that, that's one way, yeah. you know. Um, you know, there's a lot of people try to get these opening slots um, uh, for bands that are ta uh, touring nationally. I think there's mixed results with that sort of thing. I don't know how many people go early to see the openers, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I love the idea. And even, you know, so think about, like, how Fish got started. It's this really famous story. So they're out of Burlington, Vermont. Right. Um, they were trying really hard to break into Boston. This was in the 80s, you know? And they ended up uh, totally renting out the paradise. They paid for it, they rented it, and they bust people from Burlington there mm -hmm. to, to make this, hey, you know what? Uh, the paradise was packed, it was sold out, and they made that happen. The, the manager at the time, John Paluska, super, super smart. I, t I talked to him about that at one point. Um, so it's just another example of kind of, you know, starting out and going like this, you know? And then hopefully building momentum and and spreading out. It, it may, it's more difficult. I don't know where Mateo is from, mm -hmm. uh, but I have students in Australia, and it's a little trickier in Australia, to be honest. Like, you have Western Australia, Eastern Australia, and there's like this whole thing in the middle. It's kind of like, I, I've right. never been there, but it's like maybe desert or something Alice like that. Springs and all that. Yeah, yeah so it, it's, that's a little harder. We, we have it really good in the East Coast, yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, uh, I, have, I have students right now that are in uh, Wyoming, and they're kind of branching out around Wyoming, but it's the same general idea. Mm -hmm. you know, it's sort of, I don't like the idea of uh, an artist in Chicago, hey, I'm going to really focus on Tallahassee, Florida. It's, yeah. not, it's not quite right. You know, it's right. like, all right, hit Chicago. Um, what else is near there? Yeah. You, know? Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe it's some colleges in Des Moines, Iowa or whatever. You yeah. know, it's kind of, kind of. I think that's the best practice. Mm -hmm. um, th it's a large answer. I, I have seen bands as a, on my blog, I talk about this band called Fanfarlo, um, who did some interesting things to um, get a show in New York. They're very popular in, um, in the UK. They're in like NME and stuff like that. And like, hey, we want to break in the US. How do we do it? And what they did was they had kind of an ace in the hole where they are friends with the guys in Cigaros um, who emailed their whole list and mm -hmm. said, we love Fan Farlow. Um, they're going to be playing, um, I forget what the club was at the time, um, like Brownies or something in New York. And they ended up you know, that was a big part of what they did. But they also did traditional PR, too. They hired a publicist, called, um, a company called Sneak Attack, you know, mm -hmm. to hit blogs in New York, to hit all the outlets, you know. So traditional stuff still does work, blogs and, and right. print press, you know. Um, so they had uh, this cigarose telling people uh, their whole list, you know, about, you know, they have a lot of people in New York that like them. you got to check out Fan Farlo. They had a PR person that was working all around New York. And they ended up playing, I think, the Bowery or something like that. Wow. So it's a different, there's a different approach, but... Again, it kind of like it's really hard to talk about particulars sometimes uh, without knowing more about Mateo's situation.